Green light is not too far away. Star Marshall moving away. Lights on. Long pause. Takes her up. Judy's there. He fires himself to the front. Round the outside's Manson. Martin Vashlik squeezed out of it in the first quarter. Judy clouds the fence at the end of the straight, but he's hit the front. Manson now coming through in the second place. Being chased hard by Jan Kovic. But Dan Bewley took the right gate. He's hit the front and he's beginning to put away. Yeah, great start from Dan Bewley and uh, Martin Vashlik from the outside. Just didn't really make a good enough start to have any choices in the first turn. It was too good a start to really make a clear cut back and he wasn't really generating enough speed around the outside. But at the moment, it's about that man. Wheel perfect once again in a sprint race. Dan Bewley. Bewley out in front. Less than a lap to go. Firing himself down the back straight. And Bewley... He's going to pick up another four very valuable world championship points here. He wins both sprint races in 2024. How about that? Madsen back in second place. Picks up three points. Jankovic picks up two. And uh, Martin Vasilik with one. But Dan Bewley, he is an incredible character. You put him in a final, <laughs> he doesn't very often he miss does, out, does he? He doesn't know anything but winning finals. Doesn't matter what they are. Brilliant stuff. There's a few fans in there. They're delighted with that. That's just a taster of what it's all about here in the Principality this weekend. Bewley picks up the win. Leon Madsen back in second place. Jan Kovec is in third. Martin Vasilik out the back. He picks up one point. So four for a win, three for second, two for third, and one for fourth place. But Bewley picks up eight world championship points from the sprint races this season. Super stuff. Yeah, he's had a great day today. And he loves the final in Warsaw. He won from the back. Here he wins from the start. It's a good start. Jankovic cuts back. Thought he was going to get a run up the inside there. If it had been ruthless, he may have been able to just give Dan Buell a little nudge, but he's just left the door open for Madsen there. He roars up the inside. Doesn't need a second invitation to come through that hole. And Madsen, I do wonder if he's getting a little frustrated. That's two second places now in the sprint finals behind the sprint master, Dan Buell. What a ride. Smashing ride from uh, Dan Buell, as I was saying earlier. I had the privilege of commentating on him on Monday night in Bellevue. He did something very similar there. I mean, he really did look in uh, tip-top form. And he was the rider of the night. And coming in tonight, he uh, has uh, just picked up where he's left off. He just flew around the Principality here this afternoon. He'll be hoping for more. Hasn't made a final this season.